Okay, we're just going to have a very quick look here at how we connect the microbit to the computer and how we download the code we've produced in microbit classroom. So you can see on my microbit here, the USB is already plugged in. I want to unplug that. You should see on the other side, we've got the USB port here. And when we plug the lead in, we'll get a little bit of a light on showing that it's connected. We may hear some sound on the computer as well, as well as a notification that it's now actually connected to the computer. Now, to work on our code, we need to click on the Edit Code option. And when we finish creating a piece of code, in this case, showing some LEDs, just add a couple of extra LEDs on there, we can see on the left-hand side a test version of it, to see that it's working properly. So add a couple more there, and they should appear. I'm going to press Play. There we go. We get the response, and if we want to take those off and make it a bit neater, we can do that. And press play and again they'll be shown here but i want to see it on the actual micro bit so what we're going to do now is we can press on download and it will talk us through the steps it'll say connect your micro bit to the computer so mine's connected that's fine that will turn it over so we can see the same side then we press next now it says pair your micro bit to the browser now this may or may not work for you so i'm going to press pair and if it comes up with a connected device you can click on it and pair it mine doesn't so i'm going to press cancel and you'll see it gives you the option to download as a file. So press download as a file. Now once it's downloaded, it will be in our downloads folder. So we can either click up here and go onto the download section to see where it is, or we can go onto our desktop. Recycle bin is quite a good shortcut, and into downloads. And you'll see there's a micro bit one there because I didn't delete the last one. There's two. Now within this PC option, if that's not expanded, you may need to expand it there. You should see that one there that says microbit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new microbit file we've just made. I'm going to drag it down to the microbit here. And when I let go of it, what we should see is it first of all copying across to the microbit. Might take a few seconds. And when it's done, we should now be able to see the actual display of the image we've made. Obviously, I now want to change that. Go back into the code change the code, we have something else happening, different display, different image. Maybe a pause between the two. And we can repeat the same process. We go download again. This time we know on this device it's not going to pair, so I'm not going to worry about the pairing one. I'm just going to click on download again. Again, I should see that go into my downloads folder. I'm getting a few here, so it'll be worth deleting these in a second, but the newest one is 1105, so that's my newest one. And I'm going to copy that down to the micro bit space here. Once again, we should see it being copied. And once it's finished, it should show up again on the micro bit surface here, on the displayed on the LEDs. Basically, we should see there's two things happening there. We're getting our first image followed very quickly by a heart, but because the delay between the two is very short, we're barely seeing any pause between the two, but that's something we can work on later.